Hello everybody and welcome back to Orptorial. Let's place this back down, get all the modules in them and queue up yellow science. So I need blue chips of which I do not have enough still. I'm gonna put some of this back. That's way too many to carry on me. Flying frames, I am up to 50 uh, plus 40. That's 90 flying frames. I have about 25 more. So that's a bit under the target of 130, but let's see how that goes. Uh, make sure that that's in the range, yeah. Do an even distribution of flying frames. I think this one will have a bit less, but that's okay. Uh, so that's flying frames. I need LDSs, so I'll just take four of them for now. And then 50 of them. Processing units. Once this is done, I just need the one more. So actually, I'm gonna get all the resources out of that machine. I am fairly sure that uh, that's gonna be more than enough. Also, I'm going to put some of the pipes back. Do not want to be carrying that many pipes on me by any means. Now, one of the problems if I move green and red sands over here is that they're not going to benefit from the productivity modules, but I think that's going to be okay. This is bottlenecked on on green. Oh, that was a bit unexpected, to be honest. I thought I had way more. Um, Um, way more copper than I did. So let's actually... I'm gonna salvage as much of the green chips as I can. Fairly sure I do have enough. Let's get more flying frames in there. I think I got too many in one and too few in uh, the other, but should be fine. We have used all of our electric engines. So I will leave this one be, but I will DQ the other one and start the yellow science. I'm missing, so I do not want to have batteries on me. 
I need a few more. Oh, blue chips. That is the last f uh, robot frame that I have. Items for. So let's try to do this. change of mind I want to get as much as I can out of the um, out of the science packs I want to make sure that I can actually get the research done so I can put prod mods in four labs so I'll list I'll research just at four labs for now This is good enough. Easy to distribute resources as well. Green Science is up and running again. Last LDSs are here. How is the robot frames? I'm gonna give all to this assembly machine and they're quite evenly distributed now. I do need to give basically all of these modules, I think. I need to get to 30. I hope I can get to 30. Yeah, that is... That's a good ratio. There's no more LDSs in the labs, in the chests. I can pack all of this up. Do I need copper anywhere else? Uh, actually, yes, I do. Red science is a bit buffered up, but I don't think I have enough on the belt. I'll actually just keep the copper on me, see where it's gonna be needed. Put more science packs in here. How many science packs did I use so far? So let's look at consumption on 51 out of 400. And how many have I produced actually? would be the better question. I produced 260 out of um, so I'll probably research at that so I'll need 417 in total. There's quite a few more that are being produced so that's that's great. Now, while the yellow science is slowly but surely being consumed, let's look at moving 
some of the researchers over over to this side. Now I do want to use as much space up here as I can if I need to. So I will need there is plenty of space there. I'll need 12 of these. I think this is this is 12. No, that's just 11. This is going to be 12 and I will use the space here to do the inserters and belts. Plan this just a bit ahead. So this is going to be green. This is going to be the output belt. And I will start here. I'll need 11 of these. One for gears and the other one for the other 10 for red science. So that bell goes up, not down. So I will have iron delivered here and here, all the way up to here. I will have a belt of green circuits. I can actually have this one um, close to the wall like this. This is going to be green circuits. This is going to be the line out and this is going to be another line of iron going here and the moment I have been dreading let's see I'm gonna try to make as much room in my inventory as I can to get the remainder of the coal back into the warp floor I'll get all of these and I can just dump them in that chest. Not much left there. I do have this chest here, but I'm gonna... Whoopsie, I did have more power at my disposal, but I forgot to connect boilers to water. These are connected. I could consider starting that one. We have 36 um, Uranium there, which is a very good kickstarter for the nuclear reactor. Currently at 45 megawatts, all power consumed, but we are charging the accumulators. We'll see how that goes in just a bit. I think we can keep our base running for just a bit longer with what we currently have. So this is going to be copper belt. So this belt and let's actually start decommissioning this. Uh, I know that I'm going to lose the research bonuses, but I'm actually okay with that.
or not the research bonuses, the module bonuses coming from the beacon in the center of the room. Oof, I did not want to pick up all that belt. And all that everything for that matter. Is that the last of the LDS? That's the last of the LDS. What am I... Oh, I'm missing blue. And that is because of steel. Well, fortunately, steel is not necessarily an issue right now. I'll just hand deliver everything. Get some steel back in there. And... I will actually pick up all the labs because I'm gonna redo the lab area as well. The factory floor is on a... I was just double checking again. It is on a science that I won't have access to right now, so I'm not going to be doing that one anytime soon. So let's get... I mainly did that because I wanted to recycle the blue science packs. Out of plastic, so that means those red chips that I put in there are the last that I can use. Resources are running fairly low. Might be a bit of an understatement, but um, it is what it is. I do need to reconnect power to this eventually. This belt is going to look very different. Now let's start building over here. So this is going to be gears. This is going to be belt. Where's belt? Here's belt. Gears and inserters. I will look at getting the belts afterwards. The resource belts over here, now that I have that many resources left on them to begin with. So that goes like that. I do need the green chips from over there. This is gonna be all green. Now, hopefully... I am uh, I am planning on this to be the last uh, base redesign that I do by hand. I do want to get uh, construction bots, personal construction bots. Uh, for the next rebuild. I have just one more of those, please. This is the outbelt. This is another iron belt. Let's get the recipe in. This is gonna be gears. 
inserters, this one in, this one out. Power poles, I can do them all like that. Oh, I do not want to merge those belts. I definitely do not want to merge those belts. We can now clean up these belts. Power out. is going I'm out of robot frames this one is missing an LDS and this is the last that I can do Let's see how many I have produced over the last one hour. 447. That should actually be enough to complete the research. We'll see. Now I'm looking at the time. I really got distracted with this. So I will probably do a cut in this episode somewhere in the middle. Now I do want to squeeze the labs over here as close to the wall as possible. And get the belts running uh, through the middle. Let's let's see how that goes. Fairly sure it can be done. How is this getting power? Oh, it's getting power from over there. So I need to make sure that that belt is side loaded. So, that's gonna be copper, this is going to be iron, delivered like this. We'll use a very ugly trick over here to um, to get this one out. So this is iron, this is gonna be my science belt out, and this is gonna be green chips. I'm actually considering flying the green chips there, because this is consuming like four lanes, that's quite a lot. But anyway, uh, let's not worry about that right now. I will clean up this, what remains of this belt. Do I have enough inventory space? I still have enough inventory space to hopefully pick up everything here. That split is no longer required, and I'm out of resource, I'm out of inventory space. All of that in. This is, oh, I did realize just now that one of the labs was not fully 
moduled. Oh, utility sense pack. That's not something I want to have lying on the ground. How many labs do I still have here? Eight. This would be 36, 35. Mm, now, I think I'll go like this. So, for now, two belts, more than enough. I will get more space at the bottom uh, towards this corner in the upcoming upgrades. So I will send, I think that this is going to be the final lap position. I will center everything to, well, the center of the base. So this needs to be all the way here. So this belt is going to come like this and like this. I will have blue here. I will try to, I think I can squeeze, so if I have blue here or here, maybe I can squeeze um, a military in here and have just a belt coming down. Now, I need to get copper, which is this one. Like that. I will just have them running as straight as possible. Now, theoretically, iron is going to be on the outside. Here, it's on the inside. Just do it like this. And green chips. Is gonna be over here. And then come all the way here. I might need to do some underground belt magic somewhere, but... Um, I think that is good enough for now. It actually looks even a, like a somewhat clean design. I did say somewhat. Okay, that is powered up. And ready to go in the catchment area of the warp beacon, which is the very important thing. And we are really out of blue science packs. Which I did not take into account, to be honest. What? I have yellow sense packs in there. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough sense packs to consume everything. can 
start deconstructing some of the labs here. to make sure that these ones that have yellow signs in them are have modules as well out of fuel and i think that this time the out of fuel is gonna be in, on a bit more permanent type of scale Get a few of the surplus down. Let's not fully cut power just yet. So I'll have to do some of the extra setup in the um, on the next planet, some of the research on the next planet. And I will have some time to think about uh, what I want to do steel furnace wise or electric furnace. Yeah. How much did I overproduce this? Mm, I don't think that uh, the overproduction of processing units would have impacted things that much. Looks like I might have overproduced the science packs by quite a bit. Like we're at 90% or 84% and I still have 25% left of the packages that I've produced. Maybe it's not that by uh, as much as I thought, but still not a neg negligible factor either. So let's see, this is going to be iron, which needs to split onto two belts. It's gonna split like that because copper needs to come over this way. That's that one. And I actually think that this is quite neat. I like how the design turned out. Now, will a single belt that split here as well be able to deliver everything? Most likely not, but I'm not producing many more resources either. I do have a bit of a buffer here, but amazingly this time it was not the iron that ran out, which is what I would have expected, to be honest, but Um, cool, I think that I've reached a point where there's not much that I can do here. Um, I might consider moving military and blue science in a more compact space. Maybe even do that this episode. Um, or if on this planet. But um, I think that this is a good point to make a cut in this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode and you did not find this um, extremely boring. Uh, myself, personally, this is one of the 
more fun things that I like about Factorio, thinking how I can uh, redesign things to make more sense. And what I like about Warptorio itself, uh, because it forces me to constantly change designs as space grows. But thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you here next time.